All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to juggle. So juggling is really, really good for the brain. It connects the left and right brain together. Uh, it has been shown to increase uh, gray matter in the brain, same as um, something like learning a new language. So it is a skill, so it is more neurons connecting together. So it's actually making our brain younger as we learn. The other thing it's really good for is hand-eye coordination and also teaches you persistence because at the start it is very frustrating and in life there are many frustrating situations which we are often prone to just throw away and give up on but this teaches you to pick the balls up again and keep trying and you keep trying until you get that breakthrough of your first three juggles, of your first 15 seconds juggling, of your first four balls juggling. Whatever it is, each breakthrough means something. You'll take away meaning from it uh, and look at you know, all these stories that we've been telling ourselves of what we can't perhaps do, but it's just been a, a mindset that we've had. So just like anything, juggling is about breaking thing, breaking it down and starting off nice and simple, okay, just like we do with habits. So the first thing is we start with one ball. Now you can use any sort of ball. You can use lemons, limes, probably not eggs, <laughs> unless you're super confident. Um, uh, these juggling balls are pretty good. They're quite firm. Three worlds, Three Worlds is a good uh, store down in Burley, which you can purchase stuff online. Uh, and yeah, they make good quality stuff. So first of all, we're just gonna start with one ball, okay? And all we're trying to do is throw in side to side. We wanna round about eye height. Okay, you can always get better even at this level. You can see mine aren't perfect. Okay, we want eye high and we want to not go searching for it too much. Once you can do about 20 in a row here, okay, without dropping it and without going and searching for it, then you're gonna to go to the next level. So the next level, okay, is one of the harder levels, I think, and it's where a lot of people get mixed up to start off with. So we're using one ball in our right hand, one ball in our left hand. Okay, if you're right-handed, it's gonna look like this. Okay, so I'm throwing the right ball first, and once I've thrown it, then I'm releasing the one in my left hand. All I'm trying to do with the one in my left hand, I'm not worrying about catching it at first in my right, all I'm trying to do is get it to land in front of my right foot, okay? You might catch it by mistake. So right, left, okay? And that's what the next step is. So once you've got into dropping it in front of you, so you're releasing both balls, then we start going to third step, which is catching that second throw. Okay, so that's gonna look like this. Once again, we want to about eye height. We wanna not go searching for it too much. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, so that's third step. So first step, one ball side to side. Second step, two balls, letting it drop. Third step, catching that one. Fourth step, you know, we're gonna get a third ball in the back of your right hand. Okay, we're gonna just keep doing step three, but keeping this ball in the back of the hand. You'll see at the moment, it's not moving. Okay, so we're just getting used 
to having three balls in our hands. Okay, so this is step four. Once you can do that, once again, about 20 times very consistently, then what you want to do is you want to release that ball in the back of your hand. Okay, and we want to release it before we catch that second ball. So you can see I've got three different balls so you can track them easier. Okay, one, two, before I catch that two, I'm releasing the third. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so we're not trying to rush it. We're trying to give yourself some time. One, two, three. Okay, and there you're essentially juggling. Okay. So you just want to do the same. About 20 successful goes from the right hand to the left hand. Once you can do that, the last step really is trying to get it back to the other hand. Okay. So we've gone one, two, three. Now we want to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Once you get to this point, then you'll probably put a couple together like that. Two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we keep on going. And we want nice soft hands. And we don't want to not go searching for it too much. So have some fun guys. That's how to get up to three ball juggling. How long it takes you really depends on so many different factors. Depends on, you know, if you've learned languages before, it depends on how much, uh, how you use your brain on a day-to-day -day basis. It depends on any ball sports that you may have played uh, in the past. Uh, it depends on your mindset around it and what you think you can and can't do. Yeah, so, so many different factors. I've seen people go from not being able to juggle to juggling in five minutes, and I've seen people take nine months okay, of doing it every day. The main key, though, is frequency. So doing, doing it every single day, at least for a few minutes, is going to be much better than trying to do half an hour once off per week okay? because our brain really works on greasing that groove, on firing those neurons together as frequently as possible. Have fun with it guys, see you soon.